today. Well, if you tune in for the chick that cries on the radio, you're going to get your money's worth <laughs> yeah. today. Jody, thanks yeah. for coming, honey. Of course. Ah, okay. Well, I know. Uh, we're going to hear from all of our regulars today. Yeah. Um, because uh, we're all obviously in shock. We've had a loss in the family. Uh, Eric Bullard was killed in a bike accident, as you probably know. The same day my dog Jamie died unexpectedly. So, um, you know what? You universe, first of all. Who brought the tissues? Are there any tissues there are, around? No, I'll there are not. Get some. There are not. <laughs> Is there extra charges for the snot today or no? Uh, oh, Jody's going for tissues because okay. that's what good friends do. Yeah. Okay. Every... <laughs> Jody's become like the you know harbinger of bad news. People are like, when I tune right. in and Jody's guest hosting, I know something horrible has right. happened. Right? Yeah. Um. So yes, thank you, Gaza. Uh, uh, now I can't. What day is it, Travis? It's Thursday. Thursday. Ah. Okay. The longest week. This has been the longest year of my life. Yesterday. Uh Okay. And by so, year you mean this week, right? Yeah. No, oh, thank you, honey. Thank okay. You, All right. Okay. <laughs> Napkins. Oh, do you need one too? Yes. Oh yes. Well, you're the one that oh, did the you. montage to yourself. I can go okay. And get the no, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, thank you, you guys. You all said all the time you need, and I said, you know, I can't. We have to be here for Eric because we've had yeah. a death in the family, and we're all, you know, what did we say, Travis, yesterday? Just the same words. We're all just shocked. We're numb. numb. Yeah. We're broken. We're just, uh, you know, processing like you are. It just was. It's just. Uh, and I think everybody knows how much we loved it. We were saying, Chris, he's our longest time. He and Carl Frisch are our long. They it's like six. It's it's sixteen years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No longer than that, I thought. But yeah. Yeah. Well, this version well, of the show is right. Well, he, he's been here since the very beginning, every Monday, and I, there's just going to be a giant yeah. hole in my heart, and then you know, and yeah. uh, in my show, and you know, every Monday at seven uh, Pacific is just uh, he is my sanity, you know, my rock, and it's a. Uh, he and uh, you know the word I kept seeing on Twitter over and over is irreplaceable. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. He really is. There's n nobody that does what Eric does. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and uh, um, you know Bob Seska and I, Bob, hopefully will join us later as cyclists. We're just being killed in a bike accident is obviously sure. close to home for a lot of us. And sure. it, uh, 57, and uh, his wife and kids. My heart just breaks. But you know his work is so essential and i just like all i can think of jody is this that we have to we have to now we have to all be eric yeah we all have to be eric we have to especially now especially with our democracy hanging in the balance and the midterms coming up like we have to do this for eric it's our job to call out the truth right the call out to do in every way we can to everyone we can mm -hmm. right to point out what the media how where the media is failing our democracy right and turn out in the midterms you know eric will see it eric will see all the smirks wiped off all those pundits faces yeah right that oh the you know democrats are definitely going to lose the midterms in a landslide right let's prove him wrong you know yeah um and he's reunited with fern <laughs> who's True. many many a, a, a <laughs> video appearance on the Stephanie Miller show yes. <laughs> yeah Wow. Okay. Also, uh, my soulmate Jamie died. Yep. Uh, really, kind of unexpectedly. You know, Jody. All my peers have lived to thirteen. Uh -huh. I mean, giant breeds. Their age range is eight to twelve, but they all of my peers have lived to thirteen. And this was Jamie's. Was just six. Six. Yeah. And you know, she's my cuddle bug. She yeah. used to sit in my lap on the and she weighs a lot. <laughs> <laughs> in my lap you know in the bark lounger she she slept on my chest every night i had to actually wedge my body under her 100 pound body because <laughs> she, she would be in my spot so i had to wedge myself under her and that's uh you know so you can imagine it's just uh i only noticed the lumps like three weeks ago yeah. or something and then in the middle of that my mother fell and broke her leg and i had to fly back to north carolina and so Oh, by the way, we got the cytology report back yesterday, the day after she died, and it oh. was lymphoma. So that's okay. good to have that information. Now, a warning. Oh. This is my own sound bites playing in my head. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, long story tests, you know, blood yeah. tests and now, cytology. A warning. X rays didn't know what was wrong. I was waiting for results, and, uh, you know, finally took her to the hospital. And, uh, and then that night, I got the call in the middle of the night that yeah, she was, they thought she was going to pass. And so I went and uh, helped her over the bridge because she was suffering, you know. But uh, it was a very aggressive, very fast moving. And they weren't sure. They, when the blood came back, they thought it could have been even a snake bite or some venom. And so I rushed oh, her God. there thinking, you know, like, oh, maybe it's something unrelated to the lumps. And anyway, so, um, yeah, that was very fast. I guess that's the blessing that she did not 
you know, suffer a long time. I'm, we've all had dogs that had long declines, but it's just such a shock. You know, I just, it was eight months ago. I lost Fred mm-hmm. and got Colonel Steve Austin, who was without Jamie Summers this morning. Yeah. <laughs> it was really sad. But I got him to be Jamie's playmate because Jamie was so sad when Fred died. And now, you know, well, Colonel's only 11 months old. Oh, and it's just the whole thing, you know. I came home and she, he's smelling her all yeah. over me. And it's just sad and wouldn't eat. And, Ah, oh, just dogs are so uh, intuitive, you know, like he's uh, sad too. So anyway, and then it just, and then later the same day, we hear about Eric and it's just beyond, uh, feels like beyond bearing sometimes, right? I mean, mm-hmm. I, and I gotta say, like, leading a social media, I'm so, um, I'm so happy and so proud, you know, that so many people feel the same way we do about Eric and there's so much, uh, just when I recover and then Joy Reid did a shout out and you know what I mean it's just that he is such a um, important he's such an important voice and I think uh, I don't know it's hard to uh, it's hard to put in words like I, I, I everything would make me cry more this one hang on I'm trying to get my favorites this one hang on who's this uh, Jim I'm sorry I can't see through my tears Jim <laughs> <laughs> tweeted truly a loss for our world he was the closest person in my lifetime to rival the impact of edward r murrow ironically as i looked up his name to verify spelling i came to find out he also died at age 57 in april oh wow rest in peace eric bowler you were our edward r R. murrow and then this one that i hope is true emmy says uh ah you told Eric each and every week that you loved him. You held nothing back. When he was your guest, he smiled like a happy child getting a gold star. You gave him your love and admiration every week. You could have done nothing more to show validation and love. I hope so. I hope he... Yeah. I mean, just Monday, you know? Like, you think if you knew that's the last time you were going to say goodbye, and then he did that extra quick, he can't wait to get off the phone right. with me that he's been doing for 15 years. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it was always like, okay, bye-bye. And he was already... And I was thinking the last goodbye was right too soon. Too quick, Eric. It Eric, was too great quick. stuff. We'll talk to you next week. Okay, bye bye. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye. I had to find We joked one of about those. that for 16 years. Yes, we did. <laughs> Men cannot wait to get off the phone with me. <laughs> Damn it, Eric, right? That's yeah. figured his last one was too quick, too. You know, it's like he had to go just too soon. And it, it's, uh, oh, I'm just so heartbroken for his, mm-hmm. his knee was about to settle. Um, celebrate his 30th wedding anniversary yeah. and uh, he, passed, he passed away that night that we talked to him he did yeah. i know it was, monday night. it was monday night and i just thought of he wrote that great last piece you know yeah. why is oh, the media rooting against biden yeah. and uh that i quoted from right on monday even after he was gone i you know missed some of the because yeah. you know we, we were saying he's so prolific that he would put out stuff that morning right. which i'd prep for the day before Could what he'd done and he'd already him. yeah yeah done more and uh he just he cared he really cared you know and it's uh Anyway, I just yep. a heartbreaking, devastating loss. It's worth pointing out to that that piece that you're talking about, and a yeah. lot of his pieces. Yeah. He read those pieces on PressFront.media. You can go yeah, there and you hear can him listen reading to those yeah. pieces. Yes, yes, his yeah. voice. Yeah. He so reads you, them in his voice. Yeah. yeah, at PressFront.media. So that's that's if you want yeah. to remember Eric, that's that's yeah. one way you can remember him and and listen to his his words and how yeah. important they were. Yeah, and we have a whole bunch of them in um, the Stephanie Miller Happy Hour Extra uh, podcast yeah. feed. Yeah. So um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is not going to be a normal show. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we were saying that it's just, I guess everything going on is genocide in Ukraine. It's just loss, mm-hmm. you know, and we've all been through it. You know, Jody, I'm looking at you and your sister's loss, I know, is so devastating for you. You've been through actually a ton of loss. And it's, and I'm like, you know, in the parking lot waiting to hear about my dog and I, my brother, call, and I'm like, oh my God, no, not, you know, because my mom's 99 and she just, right got discharged from the hospital yesterday from a broken femur and i know where we are in that story you know and it's just like every time the phone you know you're in that place every time the phone rings you know i was waiting for the you know the veterinarian and my you know going yeah. oh god please let so my mom she's already beaten the odds you know it's like 50 yeah. 50 that you even get out of the hospital at 99 yeah. after a broken femur you know so she's out and like in rehab yesterday trying to and it's just it, it's like her courage just kills me you know it's just like i i'm it's a lot jody it's a lot I know, right honey. now it's really a lot but anyway i know and i'm like i look at you i look at a lot of people i know you know that uh we've all been through and i th- you know by, by the way if you want to call and share your losses if you want to talk about eric we're, we're sort of just gonna 
soldier through this today. So we've reached out to all our regulars. I mean, John and Frangelo will hear from tomorrow as yeah. we normally do on Friday. But otherwise, we're going to obviously Carl and Dana and everybody who's regular today it is. And then uh, I know, know the, uh, our, Charlie Pierce were a beautiful piece, of course. He did. Yep. Called him the only, uh, what did he call him? Oh, boy. It feels like that. Oh, Charlie's such a beautiful writer, too. He, he is. is. Lord. He is. Uh, one of the only media critics who mattered has died at 57. Um, so, yeah, we're all sort of, we're all trying to get through this today. I'm, ugh, I, I'm sorry if I don't grab your tweet. There's just a lot. Rex said, uh, there are no words to describe the shock and sadness we all feel about losing Eric. We need to honor him by carrying on his work. And that's exactly what I just loved hearing people say that and realizing that, you know, it's like, I mean, look at Obama being at the White House this week. It's like, we're the ones we're waiting for Yeah. now more than ever, right? Like, you know, you just, you saw Obama, and, you know, do you think, oh my God, hope, hope again. Like, remember when we felt hope? And I just, okay. Uh, Paladin just tweeted, I love all the regulars on the show, but for me, Eric Bollert was the person who set the tone for how I look at mainstream media political coverage. I don't think he's replaceable. Uh, that is true. One mask. Lee uh, said Steph has a way of sharing her friends where I think they're my friends too. The entire Stephanie Miller audience has lost someone special to us. Condolence to Stephanie and Eric's family. It, it is. It's what I said. I think Dana said take more time off. And I said I can't. You know, yeah. we're family. That's what you do, right? You're yeah. family. And we're going to have to get through this together, right? Don't give me a time check. I see you looking at your... <laughs> Don't time check me today. No, I, I actually got a text on my watch. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs>